Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a current lifestyle favorites video, a bunch of random products that aren't necessarily makeup related, but I don't really know where else to fit them in a video. So we're gonna be talking like hair care, body care, tampons, just everything, like a bunch of random stuff. Um, and I'm super pumped about today's video because I do have a paid partnership with Billy and I'm just so stoked to be working with them because I, have been using my Billy razor for over a year. I genuinely just like love Billy products so much and I get to share with you guys some brand new products from Billy. So the first one being the Billy Wonder Wipes, which are biodegradable makeup remover wipes from Billy. Now, the thing that I really like about these is they're ultra sensitive and they're really soft and lush. So for someone like me with a dry skin type and eczema prone skin, it's really nice because they're soothing and they're not rough or abrasive like a lot of other makeup wipes. And then they also do have hyaluronic acid, which is like another really great ingredient, especially if you've got dry skin. Um, it just makes your skin feel a lot more plump and rejuvenated. And then they also do have vitamin C in them as well. Whether or not, these are so luxurious. I have never ever come across a makeup wipe like these. They have this like thick spa towel waffle weave to them. They're soft, plush. You just have to feel it for yourself and um, you do not get that like stripped or irritated feeling on your skin after using these. They are luxurious. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. They're amazing. I'm obsessed. And then Billy also launched lip balms called the Super Sap. I have three different versions. Um, Parsley, which is untinted. I am wearing Fig on my lips right now. And then a light pink one in the shade Sorbet. What I really like about the Super Saps is that they're that really like slick, lightweight feeling lip balm. They're not um, overly thick or they don't get all gloppy on your lips. It's just like a really nice, lightweight, slick lip balm and they're super hydrating. And I really like this one in the shade Fig because I feel like it's really good with my skin tone. And then the Billy Floof Dry Shampoo. There are two different versions of this, one for light hair, one for dark hair. I have the dark hair version right here. This is just a powder dry shampoo. I actually really prefer this type of dry shampoo over an aerosol because I do find that it's almost like the propellant of aerosol dry shampoos is what makes your hair feel more gritty and slightly more dirty. So I like that this is just a lightweight powder. You just shake it into your scalp and then massage it in and it soaks up all of the oils and it really doesn't leave any residual feeling of product in your hair. The other nice thing about it is because obviously when your hair is like a little bit greasy, it's really uh, you know weighed down. So this is great because it just adds a little bit more volume to the root of your hair and it doesn't look greasy or feel greasy anymore. And I also did get another Billy razor. This one's in Dream Pop, which is so cute. I do have the Periwinkle one already, but I'm excited to have another for travel. Um, I've spoke the praises of the Billy razor many times on my channel, so you guys already know that. And then I did get a couple other body care products that I'm testing out as well. Probably about a month ago, I mentioned this to you guys, the L'Oreal 8 Second Wonder Water, and I didn't really have that strong of an opinion on it, but I can tell you right now, I am a firm believer in this stuff. I think it's better than majority of hair masks that are on the market. Am I saying I'll never use a hair mask again? No, but like this is pretty freaking magical in my opinion because it's a water treatment essentially. You apply it to your hair, you massage it in for eight seconds, you feel the product kind of heating up as you're massaging it in, and then after you use it, like there's just a significant difference in my hair personally. It's shinier, it's easier to manage, um, it's significantly less frizzy, and it just feels a lot softer. And you know when you use a lot of hair products, like your hair feels really good, but it feels like your hair has product in it. This just makes your hair feel like it's your amazing, soft, shiny, sleek hair. So. Definitely worth trying at least once, uh, get a vibe for it, see if it's something you like, but I can pretty much guarantee that this is something I'm gonna be using super regularly. Very big fan. Uh, it's changed my my hair game. And Next up I have these two little um, hair treatments from Malibu. So these are little sachets full of crystals, like little crystals. It's almost like a powder. You put it in your hands, you mix it up and it forms a paste. And one of them is for hard water removal and then one is swimmer's water removal. So it takes out uh, like chlorine and just deposits in the hair. 
if you do notice that your hair starts looking a little bit like dull, dry, and it just feels like it has a lot of buildup in it, these are absolutely incredible. It's not something that I think you need to use super frequently, but maybe once a month or every other month, you would just be surprised at how much buildup gets deposited in your hair and it's just staying there, but you don't even really notice it. Um, especially something that I notice for myself personally is when I start getting more buildup in my hair, my uh, scalp, I'll start getting these almost like scalp acne. <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it, but I'll I'll start getting these really tender spots and um, it feels almost like a scalp pimple and I'm like, ooh, that's the buildup. So I've been using these about once a month, um, maybe once every other month. It just depends on how things are going. But after you do this, your hair is like squeaky clean and you'll, I don't know, you'll just like notice that your hair doesn't feel like it has anything in it. It will feel like baby hair again because everything will just be taken off and you'll be left with a clean slate. Uh, they're really, really nice. And one sachet, I can typically get about three uses out of because I don't think you need to use a full sachet unless you have like really, really long hair. Um, but otherwise I kind of concentrate it, you know, more on my scalp and then towards the front of my face. So big game changer. Um, I've used them both. I don't necessarily notice that big of a difference. I think for me personally, they're interchangeable, but um, wow. These are amazing. I really have to recommend those to you guys. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I showed on my stories the absolute monstrosity the bottom of my bathroom sink was. It was horrible. I really thought I could get it cleaned in about 30 minutes and it ended up taking closer to three hours. But in the mix, I managed to find my Lola tampons and I forgot how much I loved these. They actually just look like this and they're um you know organic cotton and they're just minimal packaging so you don't have to deal with all the extra plastic they come in a box that's literally like this big they come in the tiniest box ever so super minimal packaging you can get them mailed to your house i forgot how much i like these and i just if I'm being completely honest, I genuinely just really like the vibe of the Lola tampon. I like how they're just like sleek and minimal. They they like look nice under the bathroom sink. I have a clear acrylic um, makeup holder that I have filled with tampons. And I, I like them. Had to shout them out because I just, I think they're, they're really great. <laughs> I've also really been liking natural sea sponges in the shower. This came from a gigantic sea sponge. It was like about this big. Um, it's under my bathroom sink now, but I cut off little pieces and use them. I got this from Tarpon Springs in Florida. They have a bunch of sponge shops and uh, they're a lot more environmentally um, safe because they're not made out of synthetic materials. So it's just, I like it. It's a pleasant experience and I have enough sponges to literally last me years from one sponge. And I really, I don't know, I just, I like my little sea sponge and you can clean them by just using some baking soda and water. So I've been using this, I just, I like it. I wanted to share it with you guys. Try a natural sea sponge if you haven't. And then this will kick your butt. This is a exfoliating body towel. This is from the body shop. Oh my gosh, you get this thing wet in the shower. I'll usually put a little bit of body wash, suds it up, and then you just exfoliate your body. The first time I did this, I was so, I couldn't believe how soft my skin had gotten from it is what I'm saying. Like it took off every piece of dead skin on my body. I was a little bit pink, but my skin was like, the glow was still there, you know what I mean? And then the next day after I lotioned up and stuff, I could, I could not believe all the dead skin it took off of my body. I also used it on my feet and my feet were really nice and soft. I still have so much stuff to talk about, so I realize I am blabbing too much, so I'm gonna try to speed this up a bit. So, this is H2O Ocean. This is a spray, saltwater saline spray that you can put on piercings. It's really amazing. If you don't have the time to do a salt soak, you're supposed to salt soak a new piercing, um, I think once a day, sometimes twice a day, depends on what your piercer told you to do, but sometimes you just don't have the time, so I will just, spray this on my ear and I feel like it's good enough to hold me over until I can do an actual salt soak. You guys know I'm obsessed with getting ear piercings, so I feel like I constantly have to do a salt soak 
It's the best. I have been literally using this for piercings since I was 15 or 16. Always repurchase it. Thought it might be helpful to some of you guys. Um, next, we have these multivitamins I've really been liking because I cannot take a multivitamin that has iron in it. It will, without a doubt, make me vomit. I found these from Solar Ray. They are once a day high energy vitamins and they have no iron and they don't make me feel sick. Um, you just take one a day. Really happy with these. I'm actually almost done with this bottle and I decided I'm gonna repurchase these because these are my favorite multivitamins I've had ever. I really like them. This is from IBD. This is called Reconstructs and it's a nail oil that I have noticed the biggest difference with my nails. They don't really break and chip off anymore and they're just like thicker and stronger. I like to pair this with Nail Teaks Formula 2 and then I use this on my cuticles. It helps prevent hangnails. It helps prevent your nails from getting dried out and splitting. It's really great for the toenails too because you know, toenails are always a little bit finicky and they're just, they're different. Toenails are completely different than my fingernails but they just need more you know, attention, but um, really have been liking this. Um, I've had it for about six months, I would say, and I'm not even halfway through the bottle. So it looks really tiny, but you do get a lot of product with it. But do keep in mind it's, it's an oil, it's not a nail polish. So, you know, you might have to decide when you wanna use it. Um, this is a toe stretcher. I had um, yoga toes and I think this one is actually yoga toes. I had gem toes too. Those might be the yoga toes, I don't know. But you put all your toes through these little loops and they help stretch out your toes so that you don't get bunions, so that your foot gets a proper stretch. And you will notice a difference. If you have any type of you know toe or foot pain that you think could be related from your toes being jammed together in a shoe, these are really great. I do it every single night. Just put my foot in, watch some Love is Blind, stretch my toes out. It's, it's good quarantine routine. My new face. Now, I have I was using this pretty regularly for a while and then got busy, stopped using it now that we're all in quarantine. I literally gel up my face with the new face primer and I give myself an electric magnetic, electric microcurrent shock facial all the time, it's so nice. You don't feel it, but if you skip a spot with primer, you will feel yourself get shocked. It's a little bit shocking, um, but yeah, it's great. I, I feel like it really tones up and firms up my face. I do notice a significant like lift in my face. I feel like when I use this for multiple days in a row, you can really see it in my cheekbones and around my eye area. Like It's like a foxy eye facial. <laughs> Zit Sticka. So this comes in two parts. You get your Kleena, which is the prep pad, and then the Killa, which is the micro darted pimple patch. I like just traditional pimple patches, but I save the Zit Stickas for when I have those big angry zits. These are incredible. Those micro darts really get onto the skin and just put that pimple treatment on that pimple. So if you have like a really big, juicy, angry pimple, Grande Lash, MD, new favorite lash serum. I'm noticing a huge difference. I feel like my lashes are noticeably way thicker. I've also been getting a lot of DMs from you guys on Instagram asking if I have changed my lash serum. So if you guys notice a difference and I know that it's just not in my head that it's actually a difference that you guys are noticing too. Grande Lash, MD, third tube of this. Really, really loving it. I think this might be my holy grail of all lash serums. We will see. Also, you guys, I am pretty much always wearing these like bra me camis on Instagram stories. And to not offend the world with my nipple, I don't care about nipples. I really actually don't wear a bra that much in real life. And I don't mind seeing other girls braless on Instagram, but I don't know. I'm always, I'm just trying not to be offensive. So in my Instagram stories where I'm wearing those bra me tanks, these are what I'm wearing. They're little um, adhesive bras. Just looks like this. You literally just stick it on your boobs like this and then it, you know, it's like a little cover so that 
nobody is offended by a little nipple poking out behind a shirt. Not that that's a thing, I don't care. I'm just saying I'm trying not to offend you guys on my stories when I'm like doing stuff. So I wear these and I really like them. <laughs> and then the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I started using this every single day and my clogged pores have gone away. I'm not having issues with congestion on my skin. Um, I literally only use it for 30 seconds. I just do a little pea sized amount and then rub it all over my face for 30 seconds. The clogged pores went away within a week. Whereas I had been dealing with these clogged pores since last year, like since before Christmas, I had so many clogged pores that I could not get rid of no matter what I did and started using this daily and you know, no more clogged pores. So I think it just depends on your skin type, whether or not you can handle an exfoliation every single day, but they also do have a um, gentle version of this as well. I'm out of breath. That's everything I wanted to mention for this lifestyle favorites video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know. Um, I'm gonna list and link everything in the description box down below for you guys as well. But I think that's everything. Please subscribe if you didn't earlier. Please come follow me on Instagram too. And let me know, you know, keep those quarantine video ideas coming. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.